BricksForge has released the new Tour Guide element in version 2.1.7. In this video, you'll learn how to set it up. First, activate the element in the BricksForge menu under Elements. Then, you'll find it in the Bricks Elements menu and can start using it. We're going to create a tour guide for this page with three steps to help a user navigate through the page. You'll discover the possibilities this opens up. As first step, search for the element Tour Guide and drag it into the Structure panel. A preview is displayed in the Builder. In the main settings, we have the option of activating or deactivating the tour and hiding the tour in the Builder. Before we begin setting up the steps, we aim to customize the design. The prefix style signifies that style options are available here. We can freely design the step interface, the buttons, and the overlay. We are ready to create the different steps. I'll remove the preview in the builder as we don't need it for this. In the steps group, we can define the steps. For a step, we can optionally set an ID. The title defines the heading, and we can add body text for the step. This can also include images and custom HTML. The element selector is the most important field. In this field, you specify which element should be highlighted. In our example, we start with the headline. For this, I copy the element ID. You can also use classes and insert it as the element selector. The position determines on which side of the page the steps box will be displayed. Also, you can add individual buttons for each step. A button consists of an action and text. The next action indicates that the next step should be loaded. Back loads the previous step, complete ends the tour, and cancel cancels the tour. Let's see how our step looks in the front end. As we can see, the correct element is highlighted, and our first step is successfully displayed. Now let's create the next two steps. We have completed the tour guide. I'm refreshing the browser to show it. When we click to move to the next step, the browser automatically scrolls to the next highlighted element. Depending on its position, the display position of the box is adjusted to ensure the best possible user experience. For the last step, we correct the action of the last button, changing the action from Next to Complete. This way, the tour will end after clicking Finish. In the general group, you can make various settings. You can influence the scrolling behavior, remove the overlay mode, or set a trigger for loading the tour. A useful feature is the Trigger Once checkbox. If this checkbox is activated, the tour is displayed to the user only once for the first site visit. If we change the trigger to click, we can now optionally activate the tour through the click of a button. We want to configure this now. We change the trigger from on page load to click. After that, we specify a trigger selector. This is the selector of the element whose click should initiate the start of the tour. In our case, a button. Now clicking the get started button should start our tour. Each time we click the button, the tour will start from the beginning. That was a brief overview of how to configure the tour guide element. I hope you enjoyed it. 